Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for looking at the next tutorial. Um, this is really fast and easy how to raycast, how to raycast fast, easy in Unity. And here's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover how to create a C sharp uh, script, which is really easy. How to create a raycast in Unity. How to return the distance of a game object hit by a raycast. How to draw a raycast in the editor. So you'll see, you'll actually physically be able to see the, the color of the raycast so you can see it makes your work a lot easier how to get the name of the game object and display it in the console this of course is a tutorial for beginners and uh, the cool part about it is only only eight lines of code and you can be on your way with ray casting and today's pro tip for the video is make sure you understand each line of code what it does and why it does it um, I'm speaking from personal experience here just Take the time to understand each line of code, what all of it does. This will save you a lot of time in the future and uh, a lot of grief as well. Um, so take the 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, hour, however long it takes you. It doesn't matter, but make sure you at least understand it and then move along from there. Uh, you'll benefit from the long run. So let's just, uh, let's just do it real quick. This is really easy. So we're going to tidy this up later, but first we have our big rod 01 scene and we have the files that came with uh, our package that we imported and I just, this wasn't the last tutorial, but this is a, uh, a text file that I created that we're going to um, keep track of everything that we're doing. Uh, it makes it easier for everybody following along. So the first thing you do, get your first person controller and um, just uh, right click on them and create uh, empty and we'll just name them um, raycast so there's your raycast and you see how you uh, it already created the raycast as a child of the first person controller here so you can see the first person controller and the raycast and I'm just gonna go ahead and move the raycast forward a little bit and we'll put a mesh on this sky later I don't know why that actually didn't import with the mesh I don't know if that's new in unity 5 uh, but it always used to import with a, a mesh on for some reason it didn't but we'll fix that later so now go and uh, into your assets folder and right, cl right click create C sharp never JavaScript don't even waste your time with JavaScript unity script JavaScript do not C, sh C sharp script always and name that uh, we'll just call it raycast forward and then double click on Raycast Forward and that'll open it up in Mono Develop. And we don't need to start right now, so we'll just delete that. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our update and we need to create a couple of variables. If you don't know what variables are, that's beyond the scope of this tutorial, but basically it's like a container or a box and you just put information, data, basically whatever you want in it. But um, highly recommend learning what variables are. Um, Anyway, you have to live with variables. We're going to create a raycast, and we're going to call it hit, and then we're going to call uh, we're going to create a float, and we're going to call it the distance, and then we're going to go um, we're going to create a vector three, uh, and we're going to call um, forward, forward, and vector three is going to be transform dot transform direction there it is and it's vector 3 forward and this is the part where we actually cast out how far it's gonna go and what I like to do sometimes just to keep things more streamlined is sometimes uh, when I write a line of code I'll mess up and I'll have, give, have the error so I like just to check as I go along sometimes uh, for each line of code if it's something new I'm not sure of. So basically all this is is we're creating a, a vector 3, we're calling it forward, and then what it is is transform, transform direction from the game object that this is on and that's just going to, this script is going to be placed on the raycast game object and we're going to put the raycast forward on it right now. It doesn't matter when you do that but I'll just stick it on there right now since we're discussing it and then it's gonna cast a vector 3 forward relative to where this raycast game object is times 10 units which units in uh, 
Unity R uh, in meters. So it'll cast it 10 meters forward. And then we got that done. So this is actually our debug ray cast here. We'll just put that in. So we can see it. Makes life easier. Okay, everybody likes life to be easier, I think. If not, oh well. And then we go to debug dot not break draw ray and we're gonna go transform and you notice this is the other the code hinting with C sharp is way better than uh, what it is in um, if you use JavaScript and uh, we're casting it forward color is green and uh, this this actually is just taken from the Unity docs for the most part. So you get to know the docs. They're your best friend and uh, it makes everything a lot easier. Okay, so now we got that. <clears throat> now we're going to go if something happens. If um, here's where we, where we actually use our raycast. Fix.raycast. And then we're going to go transform. Dot, so where were we at? Transform dot position, comma. And then we're going to take this forward variable, which is a vector three, and put it there. So we're using this vector three forward variable, forward. And then we're going to go out dot hit. So that should be correct and you can see down here you need is updating and no errors and command shift C on the Mac to shortcut key for to bring up the console here and all it's saying is distance not is declared but never used which we'll use it in a moment so and command W to close the console if it's uh, selected on the Mac so we have so basically we're making our Raycast right there, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna use this variable, the distance, which is a float, a number, and that's equal to hit dot distance. And so hit dot distance, hit what's hit hit has a raycast. So that's the raycast that we're actually casting out, and then the distance of the, of how you know, whatever it is that we hit. So that's that's all that's saying. And this will always change because we're an update method. So there you go. And then to get the information on to the console, print the distance plus, so right here, the distance is how far it is away, five meters, 10 meters, whatever. Um, and always put in a space to make it more legible, to read, make it easier to read. So it'll give you a number plus a space plus hit dot collider collider dot game object dot name. So you're gonna go say it's ten meters away plus then you're gonna just put a space in there. Hit hit is the raycast the collider of the raycast uh, that the game sorry not the raycast but the game um, the game object that it hit game object and the name of it. And we'll see that in a console and if all goes well we won't have any errors and it seems to look all okay so um that should be it i think let's see what happens fingers crossed command p uh plays on a mac and we're looking around uh, sorry about that i should have that off right now so you can look down here in the console you're 7.2 meters away from rod walls Rod wall zero one, and let's just take a look at so rod wall zero one. That's that piece right there. Rod wall zero one. It's telling you how far it is away in meters. You can see it's updating as we look around. You want to look down. Let's see if it gives us. It's not giving us how far. I can't look down far enough on the thing. So let's walk around a little bit. So there's rod wall zero two. And we'll just go up in in here, rod wall zero two, 
go back down here so it's definitely it's definitely working let's go if it see if it finds uh see if it finds this one sorry about that so that one should be a rod wall and we confirm that rod wall yep so let's go over here look up a little bit oops come on really and uh Big ball or ball big. We're four meters away from the ball big. That's cool. Looking around. Ball big, ball big 01. And uh, just double click on that. Zoom out a little bit, see where you're at. So, yeah, so it's working. All good. And um, it's a bit hard with the mouse like this right now. Sorry, guys. But another way you can do that if um, you just say, okay, let's say there's your first person controller. And uh, let's just move that. This might be easier. Rod wall. That's so let's move it in front of the Raycast 03. So we're moving up and down. You can see it says rod wall 03, which is what we're actually moving around. So it works. And it tells you um, how far it is away. It returns the name of the game object. Gives you the distance in meters, and that's it.